Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to my 83 rated inform Roberto Firmino true test I've literally put him under some intense pressure as you know He has been carrying Liverpool as of late incredible form like seriously carrying them So I decided to see if he could carry my team and I've popped him in that center forward position in a false nine squad The actual team around him is awesome But I wanted to see what he could offer and if this inform is actually worth it So if you do enjoy it drop a big thumbs up on the video That'd be awesome and I'd appreciate that and if you are needing ultimate team coins head over to fiverultimateteamcoins.com links below use the code fuji get yourself a discount or if you're wanting to purchase games head over to g2a and also use the code fuji right we're ready let's do it so i haven't actually used the false nine formation for a while now i think i just went off of it with roberto for me now i try to think back to the last time i used this non-informed card is he a striker not really but i didn't want to play him cam just because i thought he may be a little like useless there well not useless just not used as much as he would if he was center forward so i've met in the middle i think i found the the right balance there and the full start information is awesome so just to quickly go through the team we've got leno in goal cracking goalkeeper we've got dick meyer we've got boateng chiellini and alexandro if you've got thumbs then you're going to be able to defend defend with these guys like 87 rated defenders not many people are going to get past we've got kadira who picked up three goals from that cdm position which is awesome we've got nine goal there we've got emre chan and i'm going to say it right now this guy has better finishing than roberto Firmino at times he's so good for a 75 rated non rare gold. Then we've got William, that's arguably the best winger in the Prem. We've got Roberto Firmino, as you know, and we've got El Shirari. Quite like him. It's his transfer card. I should really do a video on the transfers, but he's very skillful but when it comes to actually finishing. Mm, not the FIFA 12 El Shirari we used to know, that's for sure. There's an idea that I had with the informed card. So, say for example, someone gets it for maybe getting a hat trick of headers or predominantly using their head to get the informed card. They should have like a huge stat, like um, a characteristic upgrade where it depending on what they've actually done, then it reflects that with their inform cards. Because I think that would be a little bit better for FIFA 17, because uh, with these informs, they get maybe plus two stats on every single stat. And it may come to some of you that it's a little bit boring at times. I would love if they had like a, a sniper um, inform card, or you could also have like a hunter card style inform, where if that person has been beating a lot of people with his pace to get the inform, then obviously he gets a bigger upgrade with his pace. So yeah, like style cards. Thought that'd be a cool idea. Let me know what you think of that. But we're ready anyway. We need to see what Roberto Firmino is like. So I've pretty much tested all that I could with the card, but it really comes down to whether or not Roberto Firmino is going to be able to control control and carry your team in division matches the question well i should say the answer to that is no and the reason for it is because of his shooting and i guess passing as well you could bring that in but we're going to start off with one of his major positives and that is his dribbling overall ball control first touch hold up play he will be able to dictate the whole game if he wishes to so i really like that about him and if i had a better left winger in el shirari who could actually find the back of the net more often then no problem at all i would have got a lot more goals oh sorry a lot more assists with uh, roberto firmino but his shooting so pitch yourself in a scenario where you've got a lot of your opponent's defenders crowding you on the edge of the box and you get a little opening just that gap to get the shot away roberto firmino he doesn't really score that often w when you're in that position but if you're through on goal with him and you've got all the time in the world no problem but when you are crowded and he's and you're trying to score in division standard games uh, it's a little inconsistent and that's one uh, thing that really did let, let down the card for me anyway and when it comes to passing like yeah he's got a decent pass he can assist people but has he got one of the passes that can cut open your opponent's defense not really it's only 81 passing on an 83 rated inform it seems a little bit low for me anyway but pace wise I didn't feel that that was an issue but again he's not really like outstanding in in that respect like he, he's not going to be able to beat every single marker so you can't pace abuse with him his shot is a little bit inconsistent his passing isn't that great what can he offer you hold up play good dribbling and overall he's going to get some good chemistry with when pato comes to the prem <laughs> now i'm serious though like he's he's a good player but he just is a little under par for me and it was kind of annoying but the team itself was really playing well and like i mentioned emre chan had better finishing than roberto firmino at times like on the edge of the box with his weak foot he is incredible but the team actually was awesome but i would actually change maybe el Sarari. like if you're someone that likes to dribble it more and maybe like pass it across then the team set up for that but if you're wanting to like cut inside and actually get goals then el Sharari just isn't the man for you he's just really 
he's just really average and it kind of is frustrating because I remember what it was like on FIFA 12 but yeah those days are long and gone so yeah guys let me know if you've actually used Firmino and uh, know what he's uh, like and, and if you want to just drop that in the comments and let me know but yeah for me I really did like his uh, non-informed cards and if I were to use him again I'd actually bring him back into that camp position but yeah thanks ever so much for watching guys drop a like on the video and I'll see you next time team out Peace.